All right, a lot of people have asked me, a lot of people have asked, can, can I make a object in Blender and export the collision mesh to go with it if it's animated? I mean, I understand it would make sense to me if you could, but there's no way to, that I know of anyway. Uh, you can animate an object, and you can animate its collision mesh also. Uh, we'll just clear this animation, and I'll redo it. Actually, I'll just duplicate this after I animate it, then the collision mesh will move with it. And... I rewind it, I duplicate it, I call it collision mesh, so that it too has animation data. And you'll see they both are moving. Now we export this, what's going to happen is this is going to, where it ends is where the collision mesh will stop and will not move anymore. If I didn't animate the collision mesh, it would stay at the beginning frame so this is the one that the collision mesh is not animated and I got ground model debug on so you can see where the ground models are or collision meshes are and you see the collision mesh isn't moving now that I animated the collision mesh we can export this and you will see after I rebuild the collisions the collision mesh has moved to the last frame. It does not update every single frame. And if it did, if it did update every single frame, it wouldn't behave in the way you think where the physics would, would act on the object, but instead it would behave more like this. If it did update every frame, it would update, it would do this. Um, Like that it wouldn't it wouldn't just smack the object like this it would basically just materialize inside the thing because the way an object is moved in the game is not by animation but by the physics that these nodes and beams uh, to move a mesh it has to have a node and a beam which is J beam that's what the game's physics model is designed around. It's like, this doesn't have nodes or beams. So it's basically like a phantom, a ghost. Though it does have a collision mesh, as I illustrated, it can either be at the end of the frame or at the beginning of the frame, but it doesn't redraw every time. And if you think about it, if you re rebuild collisions, If it had to do that 60 times a second, what kind of performance hit would that be? We probably won't see it here, but you know, if you got a lot of stuff that all has collisions and it's rebuilding all collisions, that'd probably be a pretty big hit on performance. That's just my, my guess, I don't know. Uh, I've asked my friend who is a Lou programmer, and he said, no, it's not going to work the way this game's made this is what defines what move moves things i know it'd be great i wish i really do wish you could in fact the first level i one of the first levels i tried to make i made these little things that spun around and these like little elevator lifts that lift up and down uh, and yeah of course it didn't work you just drive right through it you just collide with where the collision mesh is if we go into the beam wiki beam um, nodes I think this is the wrong page this ain't the right page this ain't what I'm looking for either
Nodes are the mass points of the core of beam energy physics. Everything revolves around them. A node itself is a dimensionless, infinite, small mass point in 3D space. You can think of a node as, in Blender, you can think of a node as a, uh, as a vertice, like those little dots there. And you can think of a beam as what connects a, connects a node to a node. Um, we find flex bodies. This is what determines what moves an object. Flex bodies are the models that get mapped to your nodes. They have deformation applied to them. The game will calculate deformation by mapping every vertice to every nearby node. So, if this was to have, if this was to be mapped by mapped to something, its nodes would as best they could just say that truck was the box I just showed you its vertice would try to match the closest node to the J-beam that is moving it so yeah it's not possible um, I wish it was though